And support is pouring in from across the nation as former President Jimmy Carter receives hospice care. CBS News congressional correspondent Nicole Killian joins us now from Georgia. Nicole, I know you've been talking to people at the Carter Center. What, what have they been telling you? Yeah, well, some of them were here in Plains uh, just trying to uh, lend support and, of course, uh, speak on behalf of the Carter Center. Uh, while they didn't really give us an update on the former president's condition, they did talk a lot about his legacy, which in large part is the Carter Center and the work that continues uh, with that organization around issues of democracy, around issues of health. We spoke to two individuals who work with two programs at the Carter Center, again, one dealing with a democracy and monitoring elections around the world, another dealing with eradicating Guinea worm, which is a disease uh, that has afflicted uh, millions of people over the years and is close to eradication thanks to the work of President Carter. Take a listen uh, to what both of these indiv individuals from the Carter Center say is part of his legacy. When he was in the White House, he made human rights a core pillar of his foreign policy, and I think that that is definitely something he carried with him uh, into his work at the Carter Center, both as a democracy and elections work, but, but obviously the work that we've also done and continue to do on human rights. His legacy is, is so much bigger than uh, being president, so much bigger than being governor. Uh, I really think his legacy is encouraging people to kind of disarm themselves from what I want or what I need and to understand what we need collectively and knowing that that's also bigger than even our immediate family. And we have to think globally, act responsibly, and work together in order to address our world's greatest challenges. And so both of these individuals have traveled extensively with the former president uh, from uh, missions to Africa, again, where he has worked to eradicate uh, guinea worm, which is, again, uh, an illness that afflicts uh, many in impoverished countries. And so he came up with this idea of a filter uh, to help prevent uh, people from getting that disease. And so as a result, now we're down to just 13 people in the entire world who now suffer from that so close to eradication which was a goal of the former president. And again, with this issue of monitoring elections, uh, we have seen the former president uh, involved in, I was told, about 39 missions around the world in terms of monitoring uh, different countries. But of course, now a lot of that work has moved here to the U.S. just recently with the 2022 midterms as the Carter Center monitored elections here in Georgia uh, just a couple of months ago. Uh, given some of the concerns that have been raised uh, around elections in our own country, some of the concerns around poll worker safety, uh, and so that is now part of the ongoing mission that the Carter Center hopes to advance uh, going forward to carry out some of the former president's uh, works and initiatives. Indeed. Uh, quite a legacy. Nicole Killian on the ground in Plains, Georgia. We appreciate that. Thank you.